Climate experts, analysts and advocates agree the best route to decarbonise European heavy transport is with zero carbon fuels such as hydrogen and ammonia, which do not emit carbon when combusted. Current shipping fleets will not switch away from fossil fuels until there is adequate refuelling and bunkering infrastructure for zero carbon fuels, as well as policy mechanisms to incentivise their uptake. Just as switching to electric cars before charging points became common was a challenge, shipping companies will not move quickly to make changes without clarity about refuelling and bunkering facilities and appropriate policy support. The simple fact is that companies and investors won't commit until they understand what the path to decarbonisation is going to look like. Right now, for example, the European Commission's provisions for maritime infrastructure lack clarity. There are no concrete timelines or targets for change, nor do they encourage coordinated investment into the clean energy solutions needed for a zero emission future. Similarly, the Fuel EU maritime proposal lacks measures supporting hydrogen-based fuels, despite them being the best decarbonisation option for heavy transport. Delays to this fuel transition will have major climate consequences. The transport sector makes up almost a quarter of Europe's total emissions. And it is the only sector where emissions remain higher than in 1990. We cannot afford to waste more time. Europe has the opportunity to become a climate leader and to spearhead the cleanup of heavy transport. That's why we're joining together with academics, industry leaders and NGOs to demand more. Please share this video to help spread the message.